Ramanekats. Was that? What language was that? Hello humans! If you're new here, my name is Dale Kingsmill and I'm a big old nerd who does geeky things on the internet in video format. I recently started watching Angry Beavers again from the beginning and my word, Daggett is me. And given that I realised the other day that Daggett is voiced by Alpha 5 from the Power Rangers, does this make me Alpha 5? Mm, food for thought. I never realised how much this show must have informed little bits of my personality when I was a child. I mean, just watching the opening credits, the dancing that they do, that that is me. I channel that dancing all the time. That little shoulder thing that Norbert does right at the start, that was my signature dance move as a kid, man. Yep, I've always been this much of a dog. And I am determined to bring the word spooty back into my vocabulary. Because spoot spooty faced spoot spoot is the best insult I think I have ever ever heard. Yeah, I'm pretty easily amused, so... But watching Angry Beavers made me think about the kind of shows that I watched when I was quite young. Because even though I did have a lot of the conventional kids shows that were around at the time, like Power Rangers obviously, Angry Beavers, Rugrats, and a lot of the conventional kids shows from just a little bit before the 90s because my older siblings had recorded tapes of their shows like My Pet Monster and Lady Lovely Locks. I also spent a lot of my childhood watching shows that my mum had been a fan of, which takes me even further back in time with my influences. I choose to believe that this makes me kind of a time traveller. I grew up watching shows like The Young Ones and Blackadder, which apparently a lot of adults thought were pretty inappropriate as shows for kids. Which, I mean, I guess they are to an extent, but really Vivian getting his head knocked off when he sticks it out of a train window and kicking it down the railroad isn't that much more violent than any scene in any Angry Beavers episode ever. Cartoons were really violent back in the day, I miss that. Whoops, window into my personality. Then of course when I was in primary school they started showing old Doctor Who episodes on the ABC again. This was before the reboot. The ABC is the Australian Broadcasting Center? Center? Channel. Network. I have no idea. And when that happened, Mum just said, no, I don't care what you watch in the afternoons because now you're watching Doctor Who because Doctor Who is the greatest thing ever. So we have my mum to thank for that and for the fact that my first Doctor was William Hartnell. I love that. And I used to show these old cartoons just before Doctor Who as well, things like Batfink and Roger Ramjet. Your horse's nose cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of steel. Boy, is that not gonna make sense to anyone who doesn't know Batfink. And you know what? Even then, even then. And of course, when we were a little bit older, Mum got us into some other classic 70s sci-fi, Blake 7. I constantly find myself referencing just, just this one part from Blake 7, from the very first episode when he says, I can't remember. I can't remember. Also, I can't help but wonder, if Firefly takes a little bit of influence from Blake 7, because there are just one too many coincidences for me to not think that. And then really recently, my mum remembered this scary show she'd watched when she was a teenager. And we looked it up and it's called Children of the Stones. And the Wikipedia page, one of the first things that it says is the scariest television program ever made for children. So we found it and we watched it the other day and it actually stars Blake from Blake 7. And it was pretty good. I actually would love to see it. A remake of it or to make a remake of it. Ooh, wouldn't that be exciting? I just want to remake everything. And it had this simultaneously hilarious and terrifying chanting in the background all the time. Like all of the music was going, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Constant, constant. It was incredible. Yes, please. With one of the biggest jump scares I've experienced in a very long time, right at the very beginning of the first episode. And my favourite thing about it was that there's one scene in it that I just think, taken out of context, is the greatest out of context scene to ever exist. No, seriously, take a look. Look, it's Jimmo! <laughs> If you haven't seen it, you have no idea what just happened. No idea. That's brilliant. Oh my goodness. And Morris dancing is really scary. 
No wonder it was so terrifying for the kids. What are some of the shows that influenced you in your childhood? Or some childhood influences from your parents that were handed on to you at any point in your life? Let me know in the comments below. Please do hit the like and share buttons and also subscribing would be really lovely. I make videos here every week. Email this to your grandma and I will see you guys some other time. For real, I just had to hit the record button again for that, like, five second sentence. Ah, Stupid 12 minute limits.